Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today you're here with Coach Jess and Jasmine. All right, today we're gonna go over how to teach your basic cartwheel and handstand to your ages two, three, four, or five year old cheerleader or any novice cheerleader learning how to do a handstand or a cartwheel. All right, before we get started, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Step one, my favorite thing to teach is cartwheel. All right, so I like to tell my little tinies what does a rainbow shape look like? And I say, draw it with your finger. Show me. Oh, up and over, right? Nice upside down U, mm. so pretty, all the colors. And we usually go over all of that. How our body is gonna go up and over, like a rainbow, okay? So we're gonna start with putting our, learning where our hands and feet go. So if you guys have a mat like this at home, these are excellent to teach the little ones hand and foot placement. Uh, my favorite thing though is to do is say, okay, before we get started, you tell me, which foot is your favorite foot? Put your favorite foot forward. Okay, you're gonna put your right foot forward, all right? So that means you're gonna go on this side of the mat. Go ahead. All right, so your favorite foot forward. And what happens is they're gonna learn to put their hands on the hand shape, down to the side, and they're just gonna hop over to the side, okay? And we're gonna make a little rainbow shape with our body. So put our feet forward, turn our hands, and hop over. Let's try that again. Just show them like a little baby one, okay? So foot forward, hands down, little hop, you guys gonna help assist the hips to turn them over to make that rainbow shape. As they get stronger, naturally their legs are gonna straighten out and they're going to kick up. All right, if you don't have a mat like this and you have one at home like this, you can go to the corner. So we have to go to the corner here. Okay, what foot are you gonna put in forward, please? So you're gonna put your hands to that corner, right? Are you gonna do left foot? Okay, go ahead. Corner, half over. Okay, so again, she's trying to kick up a little bit more. It's a little bit more advanced. And put your hands to the corner. And you're gonna hop your body over, boom. Usually look like little hops. Get the kids to work on hopping harder and moving over to the corner a little bit faster. Let's show them a couple more times. This is really a little baby one. Boom. All right. Now, imagine you have a child who has a really strong cartwheel. Their legs are getting up there. And now they're like ready to move forward for a full cartwheel. We're gonna sit on this side of the mat. They're gonna put their hands. They're gonna sit. Wait, wait, please. We're gonna put our hands directly on the mat, step right in front of the mat, hands over, we're gonna cartwheel over it, do a nice cartwheel over, that cartwheel, arms up, bend our ears, and down. Let's do it again. Arms up, kick over, hand up, go. All right, so that will be our cartwheel for today. If you have any more questions, let me know. But let's just go over a handstand. So as you're working with the little itty bitties, we work on the lunge portion of this, okay? So again, a little mat like this, you're gonna have them step forward with their favorite foot, and they're gonna start a lunge, all right? We're gonna have them tuck their chin, looking toward their belly button, and squeeze. They're gonna put their one hand, their, to step forward. Hands on the mat, and just have them work on kicking up a little bit, okay? Jill is pretty advanced, so she can go all the way into the top, come down. Usually when they're little, what happens is this, you gotta get down low, put your foot forward. Okay, kick up above your knees. Okay, whoop, try again. And what happens is they'll go like this, bend your knees. And they'll be like here. So you want to straighten them out, squeeze, pull them, look backwards, look at, the, look at the banner. Squeeze, and come down, all right? So you work that up. So eventually what happens is they're gonna kick up, and they're not gonna get totally upside down, but they're gonna work on kicking harder and squeezing tight. So we give me one more time. Kick up, Ooh, there we go. So now I want you to show me a really good one. Now when you get advanced, they should be able to hold it and squeeze tight without falling over. Squeeze, and down. Good job, Jadley. All right, guys, let us know if you have any questions. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.